if you can prove that you showed a scientist or an academic how to make spaceship fuel and how water splits apart and turns into a natural gas, down the road, when I'm the richest man in the world, I will pay you, uh, what, two, three, four, five million dollars and retire you forever. This is water splitting apart, <laughs> doubling in size, changing into a bubbly white soup that is a natural gas called split H2O and is traveling by tube as a white bubbly soup because water has disappeared. But we'll see that white bubbly soup change back into water underneath a layer of soap. And I can prove cold fission by the following experiment. I took a gallon of water. I added two teaspoons of stevia. I shook by hand to mix. I then took out a 500 milliliter bottle for start weight and I uh, set that aside. Then I blended the remaining water six times. I removed the floating soap six times and the new 500 milliliter bottle that I used with the new water weighed 3 to 3.5 grams heavier than it did, did at start. That is proof that I discovered cold fission and that I discovered the miracle that Einstein couldn't find because it existed in a crossover between nature and science that our government and the rich in this country don't want you to know about. Now see that shimmering? That is my contention that's hydrogen and oxygen falling out of a natural gas that will power Earth safely for free tomorrow if we get this validated in time and can take a spaceship around the universe because you know what? We're not burning our water up anymore as we go, okay? Uh, and if you look up split H2O and Google it, it's kind of a myth, kind of a theory, all right? They know that hydrogen can, you know, theoretically lead to that day when everything's free because we don't have to pay for petroleum and gasoline, yada, yada, yada. Well, you know what? What we're going to see, you saw that shimmering, it's going to continue, and then there's going to be a layer of soap floating at the end of the blend. It floats because it's lighter man-made toxins, and you know what? If you get that enough of that shit out, it'll make the weight of what's left over. It, it, what happens is water is infiltrated with soap, okay? Toxic shit that we wash down the sink and drain every day. And you know what? It's taking up space inside the bottle. So if we remove the lighter toxins that are making us sick and, you know, going to choke planet Earth to death, uh, it makes room for heavier hydrogen and oxygen inside that bottle. And that's the reason why Cal Worsham in 30 days melted 22 pounds and looked like he did in high school. So I'm telling you, you America, that if you want to get rich, all right, please, uh, if you don't like me, I beg you to fucking take this to your local scientists at the local school, whatever, and you know what, keep track, because a lot of these guys aren't going to know what they're taking a look at. Now, I've had five separate people say, oh my God, that's a gas, when water bursts apart, but they're not the right people, and I'm asking for your help. Try to... You know what? There's a lot of guys out there that would love to see me fail. So, you know what? Uh, try to have an academic clown me and pay attention to what they say. And down the road, when it does get famous, you're going to get retired whether you were the one that got famous or not. For real. Why should you be penalized because the academic or, you know, the scientist that you showed it to was a fucking idiot? Okay? You shouldn't be penalized. Water doubling in size and turning into a natural gas. Then coming back into what I call pure H2O. This will sell for a dollar a gallon one day, and it will make me the richest man on planet Earth because getting all the shit out of uh, it makes bodies perfect. So, you know what? Pay it forward. Pass it on. Take this to a scientist and try to fucking clown me. <laughs> I, I dare you.